Hell yeah. The light is shining upon me. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you. I appreciate you working with me, Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eliazar. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We had a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. Not Arthur, at all, sir. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see an old pile of rocks. Also, we're riding Destrals, yeah. Sherlock Holmes, is that you? Avalanche. Have I caught you before you left the stop? <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> And who is your traveling companion? A new student. You? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Or have I? Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to activities months ago. Really? No. She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. Glow. I don't see a glow. No do I. Merlin's beard. How 
Wait. She's seen someone die and uh, <laughs> the death rolls appear immediately. That's absolutely brilliant touch. Oh, that, that was nice with the test rules. Are you right? <laughs> You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wiganwell potion. That stuff will write you in a second. <laughs> Poor George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Being a carriage midair? A typical dragon would never. Sir. Sir. Where are we? I'm not sure. But the key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm doing better, sir. If you like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those roads. Do you the think. The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. 